Wanna check on the rabbit? Uh-huh. Wanna see how it's doing? Uh-huh. All right, let's see how it's doing. There's its water. And there's the bunny. Look at that, Olivia, it's still alive. What do you think? Cool. I'll have to let it loose later this morning or later tonight. Later this morning. Later this morning, okay. Wait, no, later tonight. Later tonight? Yeah. Why is that? So I can say bye to it. Pluto. So when you get home tonight, we'll let it loose? Uh-huh. Awesome. What's up, modern steaders? Today, we're gonna be cutting the wings of our Icelandic chicks so we can put them in New York City tonight and put the chicken crib in New York City. So we wanna get their wings clipped before it gets dark out so we can put them in there once it gets dark. We got a few things we need to do. Make sure I can still use the door. Awesome. We're gonna start with Blackie just cause she's in the house. So to clip her wings, we're just gonna hold her with her head in our armpit. Then we're gonna stretch her wings out. We're gonna try to stretch her wings out. I'm just gonna cut her flight wings. Of course, when you have it, they move on you. You're gonna be freed, Blackie. You're gonna be free. Woohoo! long sleeve shirt on today while I'm doing this it's pretty hot out I just want to make sure my arms don't get scratched up by the chickens feet <laughs> we got this nice Icelandic chick I went to the P.O. Box today and we got our SCOBY from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. so I'm hoping tonight maybe we can make our first batch of kombucha. That's why I want to get this done before Gina gets home. <laughs> this is the cool hairdo lady. Check out her and her do. Woohoo! Look at that! <laughs> Look how beautiful these chickens are. Aren't they beautiful? I think this is another rooster. I don't know that for sure. We don't want you escaping on us and getting eaten by an animal. Yes. Hey, chill. 
Ooh, another pretty bird. Look how pretty he is. Isn't he beautiful? We'll be getting rid of some of these roosters. We're not gonna need three of them. So if anybody wants an Icelandic rooster, let us know. One more left. Sometimes catching the last one is the fun part. Let's see how it goes. I flinched! She's a pretty white one. I see it better on these wings when I cut it. <laughs> Show you that a little bit better on this bird. She's got a funky hairdo too. Look at that. You got some cool hair. I need some hair like that. Awesome, that went great. And the broody hen didn't attack us. I got bit by one of the roosters. Just more of a shock than anything. So I'm gonna keep him over here by New York City and let him get acquainted with the other birds for a little while before it gets dark out. and I love using screws. Here, I figure if the ducks aren't gonna use it for a nesting box, when the Icelandic chicks are in here at night, they'll have a little chick crib to get into. That way the Icelandic chicks will have a place to hide if the bigger chickens try to pick on them when they're locked up inside New York City at night. Whew, I'm not getting hot, I gotta take off my shirt. At least I didn't get scratched up by any of the chickens. You know what time it is? It's time to get our mahogany chicken crib. That's right, I made my chicken crib out of mahogany.
I'm sticking the chicken crib right here in New York City in a shady spot. If you guys want to know more about our chicken crib, I'm going to post a video right here that's all about how we made our chicken crib out of mahogany. Good news and bad news, the five other Icelandic chicks were already picking on Blackie. They, they, I was watching them and they were picking on her and getting her. She started to bleed a little bit. We got her back. We're going to put her in the kennel. And we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with her. We might have to find, like you guys recommended, a chicken sweater. I've never really heard of a chicken sweater before. I'm going to have to look into one. Maybe Olivia can make us a chicken sweater. For now, I guess she's going back in the small kennel and she's going to live in the basement for another few days or so. Time to let the bunny loose. There it is. You going to let it loose? It's wet. You going to pick Why it up? Why is it wet? Did it get wet from there? Well, the water probably just should be now. Oh. You gonna pick it up and let it out? Oh no. Put your hand under its belly. Okay. Yeah. Good job. And then just bring it over in the tall grass and. Okay, let it out. It's cute, ain't it? Yeah. Don't put it by your face. Don't put it by your face. Okay. Let it out for you to see it. Here you go, you bunny. Oh, there it goes. This is where it was. This is the area it was. He's going, hoppity hop. Woo woo woo, get going. Oh, let Pluto get by you again. Bye, little guy. Oh, there it goes. Where'd it go? Over there? Yep. Yeah. There it goes in the woods. We'll chase it. You see it? Nope. Is that fun or what? Yeah, I kind of feel happy about it now. You feel happy about it? Yeah. High five. I was so sad that we were letting it loose before, and now I'm like. <gasps> No, it wasn't, is it? Because it was so excited. It's where it belongs, it's in nature, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. You want to go see the Icelandics? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to try to get some footage tonight of me bringing the Icelandic chickens into New York City. Hopefully it won't be too dark and the camera will pick it up. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really been helping our channel grow. And I wanted to thank you for that. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you're a subscriber or not subscribed, when you hit the subscribe button, see if that little bell icon's lit up. If it isn't, click on it, and YouTube will send you notifications anytime we post a video. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.